Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've made a video of items from different states, so I decided I want to make another one here for you. So, since the last video was made from all the states, I have received a few more letters. So, the two states that sent me items from the last um from the last state video was Iowa and South Carolina. So, um the letter, the um, items from Iowa came from the Secretary of State's office, and then the um, items from South Carolina actually came from the governor, the governor of South Carolina, Henry McMaster. So back back when I was doing the process for the um, state video, the um, sec the Secretary of State's office in South Carolina forwarded me to um, the governor. So, because of that, I received my items from South Carolina from the governor. So, let me show you what came from, from Iowa first. First, here's this little book right here about the Secretary of State's office in Iowa. And here's a picture of the Iowa State House right here. So, it has some information on the Secretary of State's office in Iowa right here. This is the inside of the office right here. Here's a little information on the, on the state's constitution. So here's the original document right here. And then here's about um, voting right here in the state of um, Iowa. I think, I think those are Amish, but I'm not entirely sure right there. So here's like some of the archives within the, um, within the state capitol building right here. Secretary of State's office right here. Here's a bust of Abraham Lincoln. So, um, I'm not sure if it's in this or if it's in the or if it's in the state constitution, but there actually is a um record of Abraham Lincoln owning property in um Iowa. Well, actually, here it is right here. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln right there. Yeah, he owned um 160 acres in Iowa when he was in the Illinois militia during the Black Hawk Wars. From the 1850s. So there's that right there. Here's the 1857 Constitution of the State of Iowa right here. And here's like some for some of the some of the things right here and the pages that they go with. skip ahead a little bit so so yeah here's here's the preamble of the constitution right here and a little bit of this and a little bit of that about iowa's state laws and things like that the amendments to the constitution right there more amendments and here's another picture of the um iowa constitution right here and here's like the different counties in Iowa of its constitutional history. And then here's a map of the counties of Iowa right here. And then we'll move on to South Carolina right here. So I would show you the letter, but it does have my address. But um, but anyway, it's a letter from the governor of South Carolina, Henry McMaster. And then it has like information on the state, like um, what's important about the state and whatnot. And his signature is um, at, the, at the bottom. There's the seal of the governor of South Carolina right there. So here's a postcard of the state flag right here. South Carolina has the palmetto tree right there, the um, crescent moon. And then it's a um, dark, and the flag is dark blue. And the reason why it's blue is because back in the day, um, a lot of indigo came from um, South Carolina. So that's why the flag is blue. And then here's a little bit of information on the back about the state flag right here. So he sent me some information on the history of the state right here. Like, here's some, like, historical firsts. 
that happened in South Carolina and the dates that are associated with them. So yeah, they have a ton of different dates. Here's some more from the uh, 1700s and then are into the 1800s right here. And then here's um, during the Civil War and just after right here. All the way to 1966. Here's a um, topo um, topographic map of the state right here, like the different um, river systems in the state right here. And um, here's the different um, provincial regions that are within the state right here. So like the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Piedmont region, the Sand Hills, and the Coastal Plains. So what's interesting about the Sand Hills is they're like little small, obviously, Sand Hills. But um, at one time, the, um, the coast of the ocean used to be right there. So because of that, that's why there's a little bit of sand from like sand being washed ashore and stuff like that so here's some information right here about the different regions in the state right here so i think that's about it for this video please like the video please comment in the video please subscribe to the channel please tell me if you're from iowa or south carolina and i will see you guys in the next video thank you